Hi guys, you've tuned in to The Naked Truth. This is a show where we take one of your questions about sex, health and your body and give you an honest answer. My name is Sriram and let's get started. So, if you've seen our previous videos, you know that we've talked about the anatomy, about erections, but we haven't really spoken much about orgasms. What really happens when you orgasm? Let's talk about it. Male orgasm can be split into four parts. Number one, the arousal. The arousal begins with initial sexual stimulation. Blood gushes through your earlobes, your lips, your nipples and your genitals. Blood flows through your penis and the penis hardens. The scrotum thickens and your testicles are drawn closer to your body. Step 2. Plateau. This is the portion where the pre-cum starts to come out of your penis. Your heart rate, blood pressure, breathing will increase. Your prostate and seminal vesicles start to contract, sending the seminal fluids to the base of the urethra. Step 3. The orgasm. The pelvic muscles contract in intervals and you ejaculate. Your heart rate, your blood pressure and your breathing increases even further and your penis becomes extremely sensitive after your orgasm. Step 4. The resolution. This is the portion where your body returns to normal. The partial erection goes down almost immediately and the remainder of it goes down gradually. The scrotum thins and the testes gradually descend back to normal size. An orgasm triggers the pleasure areas of your brain. It's also important to know the refractory period. It's the period where you cannot ejaculate even though you have an erection. It may take minutes, hours or even days. Um, the older you get, the longer the refractory period. But hey, it depends from person to person. Right, so if you have more questions, make sure you drop us a mail. You can send your SMSs as well. And do not forget to subscribe. Until next time.